so welcome aboard again my wonderful viewers today we shall be learning something very interesting again today's one is going to be very small or of a practical base this is a common what we'll be talking about is something that is mostly common for those who use the controllers so it's a feature that most of the time you run it on the controller where most of, sometimes you are bound found yourself in a situation where you use only one deck while you connect your system to the controller and you run it so in doing that take a look at my hands there are two hands here this is my left hand this is this is my left hand and this is my right hand so in this case my left hand sometimes for some people they are not so good in scratching or doing some tricky movement of the controller with one of the hands so they are mostly comfortable with either sometimes the right hand alone or left hand alone or situations where you find yourself using only one deck so you have your deck then you are running the virtual digital or any software on the system that is the deck is only one you don't have two deck at your disposal so in such situation you want to be running that particular deck to do a lot of complex scratches and a lot of cost complex manipulation of the song without the other deck and you want the situation where let's assume this beat is playing after scratching it you move it to the deck that is not available that means the virtual deck that is existing on the system that is this deck A in this case let's assume I'm a right handed kind of person so I'm more comfortable using my right hand to do the scratches and all that thing so when I'm done playing around with the song on the right hand while my hand while this left hand is on the crossfader after doing everything I will now move the track to this other deck that is the deck that is on this side so at the way you are seeing it which is the deck A so that it will continue playing the same thing is applicable with the left-handed kind of a person so how do you do that on virtual dj that is what you are going to be looking at today so i will show you the mapping that you need to do that and put everything together so in this case let's have a feel of it now don't worry about the mapping if you need any adjustment in respect to the mapping you can let me know through the description of the at the description that is comment box so that i will give you give you but you are going to see the mapping as you progress just take a look now this beating is currently going on, it's currently on deck A. I'm going to shift it to deck B without you noticing it. So this is what the kitten is all about. So when you are playing the song, you want to shift it to the other deck without any adjustment. The song will be playing while you automatically stop the deck that is playing. So this is deck A is playing. We are going to move this track to this deck B and we will not touch it. The deck A will automatically stop playing it then the deck B will start playing it and it's going to play it at, it at that position where you started it where it is playing so just watch before I do that I have to make sure that this deck A is selected so I'm going to my selector which is the tab key I'll press it it's going to bring it to this so currently it's been selected I use my alternate key with letter E just watch once I connect the alternate key with letter E watch what will happen to the deck at the, at the screen this is the deck A this is the case currently playing just the, the moment i press it you see that it will stop playing and the song will now be playing on deck b just watch so can you see it it just shifted and no adjustment nothing nothing so i'm going to show you the mapping this is the same thing is applicable so you can pick the command to be on the fist that you can make it flexible like in my own case it is flexible so automatically move it to the other deck without any adjustment just watch again i'm going to move it again from this deck b back to deck a the beat will be playing if the truck if the track is playing it will maintain that position of playing continuously without any adjustment so just watch i have to make sure that the deck b is selected the reason why it had to be selected because that deck had to be selected in my own case that is the way i set it but if you need an, an adjustment there's nothing much that you need in that regard so just watch I'm going to select it the moment i press this alternate letter e just watch so let's go back look at it you can see it it has shifted it to the deck a again so let's see the mapping that does the magic for us so we'll come to our config come to our config We'll go to our setting point here since our alphabet alternate letter e you can pick a particular key you must not combine keys the reason why i pick my own case is 
because of the flexibility of there are so many mappings attached so you can pick any key that you can just press one click it will do that for you so this is the command this is clone that is the command that takes care of cloning the deck then we have this combination this and which is the normal and just the way if you are making a sentence you want to tell somebody to do something at the same time you tell him okay go to so 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 person house and collect so 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 thing that means you are attaching two commands to on a single place and you are expecting the person to execute it at the same time bring this and this for me bring cock bring cook or any bring bottle water and can water for me you are telling the person to bring two things it must not be can on anything that you think okay bring the laptop and the charger you are telling him to bring two things at the same time but if you ask him to bring the laptop alone you bring the laptop alone so in this case we are telling the device to clone this track that is the dark track that is playing and when our key is down if we do what this is a customer this is querying the state of the key so once the key is down it's going to after cloning the deck, the key, the song, while the key is down, it's going to start playing that deck. That is the other deck that you clone the track to. And then it will automatically, then this column is telling us to do the other action. When, they, when we are leaving the key, that means this is our letter E. So when we are leaving the letter E, this next command will take place. That is the deck that is active should pause that means that original deck that the song was originally playing on is going to pause and then the new deck is going to be the deck active let me explain what i'm saying here now so there are little complexity here that is attached so the key there are three major command here we have this one sorry we have clone deck this one is just querying the state of the key then display the default deck and then the deck that is active should stop playing and then that other default deck that was selected will now be the active deck this is what this whole command is all about so we are combining these two commands from this column here to this point we are combining two commands that is going to be executed at the same time that means the moment we leave the key that other deck that we clone from will stop playing and then the deck the new deck that is now playing will now become the default deck this is what it's all about so let's see it I'm going to load another track on it so that you see what I'm saying. So in this case, this is what we are saying. This deck at this moment is the current playing deck. So the command is saying that when we press that key, this song here is going to be cloned to this deck B. Once it's cloned the deck, the song to deck B, then the moment we are releasing our hand, this deck B will now become the active deck and this deck that is originally active will pause that means you to stop playing so this is what the command is all about so i'm going to load another track you see what i will do to it now just watch so let's go our dj watch deck b is currently our deck b is currently selected so let's assume we have done all the scratches i've played around with the song i'm going to shift it now to deck a just watch and see what i'll do now so can you see what just happened 
the song just moved to the other deck without any interference. The song was just, the beating was just continuously moving as if nothing happened. Then I will load another track on this other deck now again and play around with it. Just watch. It's your hottest DJ Don Genius, spinning the wheels of steel. So can you see how I just did it? It's now running on this other deck again. So the same thing is applicable, very simple and straightforward. Thank you for learning something today. I'm continuing to give you very the more and keep a date as you continue to get the very best for me. Keep your hands up, let's get the fire. Okay, okay, okay. It's your genius DJ. Hey.